Criticate! Hey, we're playing Hive Swap! What's up, you 14 year old motherfuckers? Yeah! Yeah, you're gonna run around being 14 year old. Two boys stand in their room. Even though they're 20 years old, <laughs> it's only today that they will be given a name. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> gross. <laughs> This is the Homestuck game. The Homestuck video game. I, I like Homestuck. I've tried to get into it a couple times, but I couldn't. It's hard. It's it's got Dude, a it's got a rough first few chapters. I skipped to Act Five to get to the. See, people always doctor. say that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> people always say that, but yeah. it's just it's just I can't do that. Like, yeah, I'm not coded that way. That's fair. So, uh, start this. I up, like man. the first few pages a lot. Yeah, it's really cool because the, the humor is really interesting. The humor is good. So, I don't need to understand Homestuck to understand this game, correct? You shouldn't. I don't think so. No. Okay. There's, there's, there's like there's references and shit, but we'll see. We'll see. So they're having a good time. They're playing around. There's some sort of kingdom. Yeah. Uh. Oh. <laughs> ah! Sorry, we got to do lots player. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god, this game's so scary. Face cam. Face cam. Oh, there's some kind of goobly goop. Yeah. Creature. So it's some funky music. I love this music. It's pretty good. You Toby Fox did the music. With turn it down just a teeny bit. Yeah. There we go. That's good. Jam it out. Jam it out. So now we're running away from Monster Boy. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so now we're so we're trapped in your is house. Is this our own house? Yeah. Okay. So we're trapped inside our own house. You could say that you're creature. stuck in your home. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> He's not even stuck in his home. Anyway. Your name is. Sorry, you're going to need a minute. <laughs> okay, give yourself a minute to freak out because of the monster. The thing with all the teeth and legs. The one you barely got away from. Minutes up, though. You take a deep breath, letting the uncertainties slip away into the toothy, arm waggling <laughs> darkness and focus on what you know. Your He's name is Joey Claire. Claire. You live just outside the town of Hauntswitch. <laughs> you are. In no particular order, a puzzle solver, semi-orphan, dancer of multiple schools, aspiring veterinarian, and a big sister. Aww. Speaking of, that monster, the one that the one that barely missed <laughs> eating you alive, only you're not thinking about that right now, it might be headed outside where your little brother is. You've got to warn him. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hold on. Let me turn off the lights. Okay. Sorry, we, we were playing in a physical room, made a physical space. Well, I think the first task is to uh, go on Tumblr. Yeah. As with any fan of Homestuck. You want to? Yeah. Okay, let's go on Tumblr. I swear to God, if it opens <laughs> up fucking <laughs> no. Tumblr court. The modem always makes a mighty racket logging you in. I, we shouldn't read everything. There's too much. We'll, okay. We'll die. Uh, but Oh, is the there net. a time limit? No, no, no. No, no, no. I just mean that like we'll die our voices. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll, 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 well read from then on. Um... Okay, well, sit in the chair. Sit, What's sit in the chair. One day you hope to be a veterinarian. Then you could be one caring, to be the one caring for the fuzzy-faced baby critters. <laughs> so when someone catches you in the act of snuggling them all and tells you to take a hike, you can flash your vet badge and say you're here on professional <laughs> medical business. Yeah. And they'll have to take the hike, not you. Shh. Yeah, guys. I, I can can't. Can you sit in the chair? I can't. Okay. No. What's that on the floor next to it? <gasps> Get it. Get. What is it? It's a walkie-talkie. Oh, it's a talkie-walkie. It feels a little light. Can you uh -oh. investigate it? Oh, no, batteries. Yep, no batteries. Uh-oh. Cannibalizing the walkie-talkie when something else needed them, but you can't recall exactly what that something else was. Okay, so we got to so, look for an object that needs batteries. Yeah. Uh, so this is a point-and-click adventure, like like King's Quest or something. Mm -hmm. um, Your babysitter got this. You got you this junior veterinarian's med kit. It's kind of important to you, so you think you'll leave it here for now. It would really bust you up if something happened to it. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. So you got you got a whole room here to explore. Give, give me some options of things that I can click on. Uh, this dog. Click the dog. The eye. Let's search the dog. It's inside the expectant plush canine and puppy surprises having puppies. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> she actually came with five puppies, but you gave two away to make room for the other stuff. You don't know anybody else who got five. Some kid from school got four in hers, but she wouldn't shut up about it for a week. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're not one to brag, but yeah, you walked with a little spring in your step for a while after birthing that quintet of pups. Maybe you five puppy people are just cut from different cloth. God damn it. <laughs> So you got your keys here. Yeah. So what are those? What is that fucking disgusting key? Oops. Hold up. I'll redo it. Look. Ah, yes. No one would ever think to look for your precious diary key instead of a plush mother dog. Least of all your brother, who was upset he didn't get one of the puppies. Jude can be pretty melodramatic. 
Speaking of precious keys, there's also a beautiful old trinket that used to belong to your mom. You have no idea what it is, but looking at it reminds you of her. Honestly, you're not sure you'd be comfortable leaving it here with everything that's going on. Well, take it. Get. Click the diary key. While you're at it, you think you should keep this beautiful heirloom of your mom's close. Just a feeling. Deep, inexplicable, impossible to ignore feeling. Okay, well, um, check out those shoes. Shoes? Ooh, Ooh. you can equip. Along with ballet, you study tap dancing. You haven't decided which you prefer. Ballet is fun, but tap's also fun in a different kind of way. Put yeah. on the tap shoes. <laughs> sure. Equip. You had the tap dance abilitech to your technique. Ch- techniche, sorry. Uh, yep, those are words that refer to these concepts. You learned them literally just now. <laughs> <laughs> They'll help you if there's anything they need to shake up or shake off. Or if you're just in the mood to shake it. Just like New Taylor. Yeah, so now we can tap at things. So like... <laughs> <laughs> Show your loving puppy surprise The razzle dazzle And she doesn't say anything But you can tell she's pretty floored <laughs> I love her <laughs> So uh, there's other things There's a closet Your plushies mm, Ballet dancer Check the ballet dancer Mom won this award around Tap the at it age. <laughs> Tap <laughs> They don't give t- ballet trophies For tap dancing But if they did You might just win one of those, these some Yourself someday Or maybe you'll win one For your ballet You decide to dream big Yeah uh, There's another this. side of the room too. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, it also takes place in 1994. Okay. When so does Homestuck take place? Like when it starts, like 2007 or something. Okay. Yeah. Look out to the window at that that light. The light. You briefly muse on the metaphorical significance of the flashing light. What could it represent? Fuck. The past? The future? America? Come on! It's your stupid brother. You need to get in touch with him. So you can do some more code? Here's your dog. Oh, get the dog. Poor puppy. If that icky, snaky thing hurt her, well, you'd use your budding veterinary skills to patch her up and make it all better. But you'd also be very angry. Right now, she doesn't seem to want to come out of her doghouse. You don't blame her. Look at those creepy boys. Ah. Yikes. More of them? Gentrification is a real monster. (laughs) Blistering social commentary (laughs) aside, you sincerely hope you and your brother aren't killed and eaten by those eyeless horrors. Ah, there's the moon, but... The sun has set, making for a glorious autumn eve. As such, autumnal evening glory radiates from the heavens, kissing the clouds on its way down to earth. Stupid clouds, all untouchable and affair- <laughs> ephemeral and stuff. 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 All right. Um, check out the the doll on that chair. What the fuck is that? <laughs> this is Sir Bappy Passwater, your beloved men throw chap. What you tend to his fuzzy mean? whims and needs when you trouble to imagine what they might be. What a daring dream to combine the finest qualities of the animal kingdom with the nobility of human animals. Wait, you mean humanity? Anyway, Sir Bappy Passwater will have to tend to his own fuzzy whims and needs for a while. You've got a lot of crap on your plate right now. Dance at him. Dance at him. Sir Pappy Bosswater Bo- disdains tap dancing, which he calls the staccato stumbling of the plebeian herd. And wow, that stings. <laughs> Fuck you know. <laughs> wait, wait. We got to examine some of these posters here. Oh, are so they th- bad movies? This is Bubsy. <gasps> what could possibly go wrong? That's what Bubsy would say if he were here. He'd never stop saying it. <laughs> You'd hear it in your head forever, echoing like screams echo across still water. So what, what are some of these posters? I can't really see them that well. Second Mom. This game is only available in Japan, but there's this kid at school who says his uncle works at a games company, and he says he gets to play all sorts of secret games before they even come out here. He runs off at the mouth like he's all this insider information and sources inside the game companies, but honestly, you think he's just desperate for attention. My dad works at Nintendo. (laughs) (laughs) You tend to ignore him and focus on more pleasant things, like the super cool poster. Second mom rules. Did you ever have a kid like that? No. No, I really didn't. I had a kid who convinced me that... uh, there were like 80 more characters in Smash Brothers Melee just really? waiting to be unlocked. <laughs> Aww. Uh, there's this one. The story keeps happening. Just look at this childlike empress. She sure looks pretty pleased with herself for someone who's only in the movie for about five minutes. Uh, and then this one is also kills me. Canadian Campfire Spookums is the best. <laughs> it's about these kids who get together in the woods every week, and one of them throws some dust in a fire, and then they tell a scary story, and that scary story is the episode. Oh, shit. You guess you kind of focused more on the framing narrative than you did on the stories, but whatever. It's the best, just like you said. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, look in the, look in the drawers. Or, oh. or are we going to play a game? Oh, we can. We'll play a game. You just saved before fighting the final boss, which means you'll need a, to budget several hours to fight through its various forms and anti-forms and transformations. And look, you've got a lot on your plate right now. Well, check out and the... Look at the... 
Oh, it's Ooh, this. diary key. Diary key. Boom. You unlock and open your diary. Nice. Juicy secrets, here you come. Except they're just your boring secrets, so you don't care. Well, check them out. Look. You usually don't have much to record in here on account of the humdrum life you lead, but you think today will be a different story. Maybe you should take a moment to record a note now, just in case this is your last chance to set down your final words before your tragic demise at the hands of a horrible snaky thing. Do it. Right. Maybe something from your past will shed some light on today's terror mysteries. Some little detail mentioned offhand and forgotten. The key kicking off a casual cascade of connections that terminates in a catastrophe of snake monsters. Nice. Nice. April 13th, 1944. That's awesome. 1994. Dear, 1994. Sorry. Wait, what, what is, why is that funny? 413 is the day that Homestuck started. Gross. <laughs> Dear Hot Diary. <laughs> Ho-hum. Dear Nothing Hot Diary. What the fuck did Hot Diary come from? I didn't say hot diary, did I? You did. You said dear hot diary. <laughs> Whoops. Dear diary. Ho hum. Nothing much happened today. I tried to make some new friends at school to maybe expand our social circle beyond just me and Jude's friends all the time. Wait, is it weird to call my brother's friends my social circle? Ah, well, you know what I mean, diary. I don't have any friends. I can really call, I can really call mine, so I'm trying to branch out. I guess it's better than calling them my web ring. The kids at school are jerks, though, and they call me a poser when I try to talk to them about games I like and stuff. Between you and me, I think a bunch of the kids at school might be evil. Jeez, now I'm sounding all paranoid like my brother. They're just up to no good. I can feel it. Yeah, silly boys. <laughs> June 12th, 612. Dear Diary, woo, first day of summer vacation. I can't wait to get a break from all these clowns at school. Sometimes I think what I really need is a vacation from humanity. Clowns? Oh, God, no. Shit. I came home to a drunk babysitter again today. Sure is some quality adult supervision we youngsters are getting around here. She means well enough, though. Haven't heard from Pa in weeks. Last we saw of him, he popped into the house to drop off more stupid mummies and globes or whatever, then skipped off to go on more adventures. What a bozo. Also, how lame is it that he, he made us call him Pa instead of Dad while we were growing up? I miss oh, <laughs> rip. <laughs> if this is to be the last entry in your diary, then by gum, you're going to scare the bejesus out of whoever finds it once you, you're snake chow. November 11th. Dear diary, forgive my hasty and nervous scribbling. I'm kind of scared, but maybe also a bit excited. Anyway, can't talk much now. There's a sly and cunning monster on the prowl, possibly hungry for kid meat too. So I've got to... Okay, I don't have a darn clue what I have to do, but I'll fill you in later once I do it. Satisfied you've done your duty vis-a-vis -vis posterity in case the worst should happen, you relock your diary and hide the key again, safe and sound. Well, it's your diary. Now that you know the super secrets of the main the, the, character and you yeah. have a little bit of insight about her, check out the next episode of Critical. Yeah. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna solve this little do, mystery. Yeah, a little bit more secrecy. What a great episode of Criticate. What did you think, Jacob? It was good. Are you going to drop a subscription? Uh, I'm not, because I'm already subscribed. Whoa! But if you want to be cool like me, you should subscribe, you too. You should probably be cool. Probably be cool. Yeah, only cool people subscribe to Criticate. Yeah, only not cool people don't.